Good afternoon and uh, welcome back RB Bass Outdoor uh, fans. Uh, Mike Rogers, RB Bass Angler here. Um, thought I'd share with you a little bit about what happened on yesterday, which was the uh, Folsom Lake Cast for Kids 2023. Uh, outstanding event. Um, a lot of people have showed up, a, a lot of kids participants. We even had more boaters than uh, uh, we had kids and most of those stayed around to help for the event. Uh, it was outstanding. The event was put on by uh, John Henneke and Todd Langston and their crew, which are phenomenal, the, the work that these people do, uh, lining up everything that needs to be done to put this together. We, uh, well, at least I got there uh, f fairly early, to, typical me, and um, helped out uh, putting things together, uh, fishing rods for the kids, tackle boxes for the kids, uh, putting hooks on the lines and things like that. Uh, others set up uh, the event and the uh, uh, tables and um, all that stuff. We, we just waited around for uh, several minutes or so and everybody got in line and, and uh, went to pick up their uh, their cast kid as well as one of their parents, whether it's father or mother. Uh, in my case, I, I lucked out, I guess, because I got um, two of them uh, that I had back in 2018 and uh, Dottie uh, brought her son, uh, Dominic, and uh, Dominic is a great kid. I had him when he was 13, <laughs> and now he's a senior in high school. He's just, he's, he's more outgoing than he was before, uh, which means I got to tease him a lot more. But the event started, uh, really nice day, uh, calm seas out there, uh, two four mile an hour wind, uh, bright, sunny, uh, very warm. Um, we found some water temperatures, uh, 62 to 65 degrees, and it's just gin clear, uh, which I'm not a big fan of. But um, and we we found some bass down in there. But we picked up, we got in line and we picked up um, Dottie and and Dominic and and all the others that went along. And uh, uh, John and the crew provide a driver to drop you into the water and then also come back and recover you so you don't even have to get out and, and do hookups and all that stuff. Uh, they dropped us in the water. We uh, immediately uh, headed upstream of uh, the South Fork. Uh, I haven't fished this lake in f uh, five years or better. I have no clues to where anything is other than be careful out there because there's wood everywhere. I mean, I'm talking everywhere. Um, dodged several big chunks coming up and down the, the, that stream and I hear from uh, another friend of mine that fished the North Fork that it was even worse so um, water's high it's up in the parking lot and there's wood uh, hanging up in there so uh, just be careful so we went up to uh, the South Fork we went way past the pump about maybe a mile or so uh, tried several spots uh, look for uh, uh, looking for fish we, we found some of course Dominic is just he's excited he's a He's a bass fisherman. He, he fancies himself as an old cowboy and, and uh, uh, loves to fish. So we stopped and tried a few things and uh, didn't really get anything there. And, uh, surprised that uh, that they weren't out on points and things like that, but they have seemed to have moved up into the bays. It's spawning time. Um, so I really don't expect a lot of hits, but you figured you can get something, but our time was limited to two and a half to three hours out there on the water before they do the luncheon and awards and stuff. So we tried to keep our running down to a minimum and uh, hit a couple of bays and real small bays and found some fish. Um, there was definitely a carp up in the shallow spawning and things like that. But uh, there were stringers of bass down there. It was just a matter of trying to get them to eat uh, something. We tried several uh, bottom finesse rigs, um, uh, Nico rigs and uh, small ball Kitex. Um, Senkos <laughs> didn't work. I ran them with a... Uh, 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 no weight on them and then it wacky them. Um, we tried spinner baiting the shallows. Um, I understood that there was a rip bait going on. We, I, I tried that. Um, we couldn't get anything. I, I, I felt bad enough because you always want to get your kid a, a, a fish. And uh, five years ago, years ago, Dominic caught one on a, on a uh, nickel rig I gave him and he just, he just beamed up. But in the end of it, it was all about taking them out and having fun and fishing and stuff. And, and also, he, he didn't seem to mind not to catch the fish. He got to run around the boat, um, 
uh, as fast as we could go, he would smile even bigger and put his hands up in the air, just like on a roller coaster. Um, it was it was a, a fun, fun day, and I'm grateful to be a, a part of that. I'm, I'm glad that John asked me to do it. Um, coming back in, uh, we coming in probably a quarter mile off of the five mile hour zone. Zone. I, I stopped and uh, and I switched spots with Dominic. I let him drive. He was just beaming from ear to ear that he's going to be able to drive this boat. Um, he's one of these kids that well, and I asked Dottie, he'll they'll never have a license to drive a car and and all that stuff. So uh, he was excited and a typical boy. He'd get in there and and rev it up and and, and jerk you along. <laughs> I had to school him on to doing it slower and and uh, we're not going to no, we're not going to get up on plane though. He tried to a few times. Um, more into gun in the engine so it sounded like a hot rod than anything else and as we got to the five mile or that we, we switched back so i could uh, uh, have safety with inside the dock area and uh, we boated out um they came and got us and we boated out uh, and drove up to uh where they're having the, the lunch and barbecue and award stuff and spent our afternoon there uh, having food and drinking and talking and seeing everybody that i usually don't get a chance to see uh, um there were people there that I haven't seen in, in uh, several years. Dustin Keene was one of them. I haven't seen him since BBT times. And um, uh, Wendy Yee came up and, and brought me um, um, some caramel corn. And uh, of course, John uh, was there and, and Todd was there. And um, Greg Salee uh, dropped by, shot a few videos. Uh, KNCI was there for music. Um, KCRA there was with a television crew. Um, Richard Whittem and his uh, lovely wife Lauren came along, uh, and even Rick Devani showed up. So it was a big event, big big time, good time, and was really uh, blessed to have uh, the opportunity to be with these young uh, people and uh, teach them stuff. Um, if you go on uh, rbbass.net, you will find probably the article for me up on there with uh, more uh, pictures, uh, especially of uh, dominant uh, fishing and so on and so on, uh, driving the boat. Um, it was a it was a good time. Um, I hope I hope those of you that have thought about doing it uh, will do it. It doesn't take much to sign up on the website. Um, if you have the lake near you that it's going to happen on, uh, uh, please do. Uh, it's a very worthwhile event and uh, very blessed to have done it. Thank you much. Hey, remember, uh, take a kid fishing, have a great time, make it fun. That's what it's about. Make it fun. See ya.